हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू योर जीके वीडियो दिस इज योर यूनिट सेवन वीडियो ओके इट इज यूनिट सेवन नॉट इज मिक्स बाय सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इट इज क्रिएचर ना यू हैव टू राइट ट्रू और फॉल्स बाय रीडिंग द स्टेटमेंट इट इज हेयर रिटर्न फर्स्ट वन द लॉन लिविंग थिंग लाइक लाइट टेम्परेचर एंड सॉयल आर द बायोटेक कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंट इट इज फॉल्स नेक्स्ट The rearing of silk moth larvae for silk thread is called horticulture. It is false. Morphine is both helpful and harmful as a drug. It is true. Now the production and management of fishes is called pisciculture. It is true. Leech feeds on algae and plant. It is false. Omnivores are animals that feed on plants and animals. It is true. Green plants which make their own food are called heterotrophs no it is false sunflower is a good source of medicine it is false next scavengers are carnivores that feed on dead animals it is true animals are domesticated for food fiber and eye it is true nectar world's oldest creature there is a fact On 23rd March 2006 a giant tortoise called Alvetia died at the Alipore Zoo Kolkata he was brought to the zoo in 1860 from the state of Lord Robert Clive the founder of East India Company you can calculate the age of the tortoise okay now find the odd one out polar bear kangaroo domestic cat tiger it is kangaroo eucalyptus tree mango tree yeast algae it is yeast then human bear rat crow it is crow and spider beetle cockroach it is spider okay next one is pride pack parliament lodge it is lodge tobacco mushroom belladonna ushla it is mushroom hi baby kowe telen it is hi then lanas gram p wheat it is lana whale bat human shark it is shark now castor sunflower barley eucalyptus it is sunflower okay one and only now let's read this The poor whale of North America is the only bird that hibernates as it hides in the crevices and sleeps through the winter months. Okay. Now let's move on to Indian great. India has been a land of great men who have contributed towards its culture and civilization. Read about some of them and unscramble the letters to find out their names. now here the scramble words are given you have to unscramble by reading about that person now he was a philosopher who lived in the second century bc he was a physician in the court of kanishka and was a great contributor to the ancient medieval system of india it was charak c h a r a k a okay next is He was one of the greatest mathematician of India. He was the first astronomer who claimed that the earth is round and that it rotates around its axis which causes day and night. It was Aryabhatta A R Y A B H A T A. Next is he lived during the Gupta age and was the great This Sanskrit poet and playwright of India, he wrote lyrical poems which have become gems of Sanskrit literature. It was Kalidas, K A L I D A S. Okay. Next one is he was an ancient surgeon who lived during seventh century B C. In his book, he has described so many surgical instruments and procedures. He also performed cosmetic surgery. It was Shushrut, S U S H R U T A. Then next one, he was a great astronomer who said that the Earth, together with the Moon, 
moves round the sun and the moon moves around the earth he also wrote a treatise that dealt with mathematics botany geography and astronomy it was varamira v a r a a m i h i r a okay next the sixth one he was a hindu astronomer and mathematician born in patliputra now patna he was known to the arabs as arzahir and his writing had considerable con- influence on arabic science it was aryabhat a r y a b h a double t a okay next move on to next one who am i topic now you have to read the description and fill in the blanks with the help of help box i am an insect i eat and destroy wood from trees books and building i am a termite yes t e r m i t e okay next second one i am the only fish which swim in a stand up position and looks like a horse very common it is i am a sea horse s e a c h o r s e horse okay next i am found in the rivers of south america and resemble a dead leaf i am a leaf fish it is l e a f and f i s h okay next one i am a ferocious fish of amazon river having very sharp teeth i am a piranha p i r a n h a piranha okay the next fifth one i am a planet but i enjoy eating insect i am a venus fly trap v e n u s venus fly trap f l y t r a p okay next one rat poison is made from me i am a eastophile e a s t e r f i l e next one i am a native plant of india the leaves of which produce dye i am an indigo i n d i g o okay next one i am the tiniest bird weigh, weighing less than 35 gram i am island rail i s l a n d rail r a i l okay next one is i am also known as owl parrot it is kakapo k a k a p o this one okay next is my scientific name is apis i am a b okay so b double e b okay next one is does money matter to you this is again a part of unit 7 big bag now let's read on Money is any medium of exchange that is widely accepted in payment for goods and services and in settlement of debts. Money also serves as a standard of value for measuring the relative worth of different goods and services. The number of units of money required to buy a commodity is the price of price of the commodity. Now how much do you know? about money you have to take the right answer when we don't have cash we use this card it allows us to buy now and pay later traveler check and credit card it is credit card okay next when you keep your money in a bag you get some percentage of it as a profit it is known as interest or wage yes it is interest okay next When a bank allows you to spend more money than what is there in your account, it is giving you this facility of overdraft. Overdraft, not loan. Okay. Next, you give this card card to the shopkeeper, and the money gets withdrawn from your account. That is debit card. D E B I T, debit card. What does EMI stand for? It is Easy Money Installment or Equated Money Installment. It is Equated Money Installment, the B part. Now, when you put your money in a bank for a certain period and are not allowed to withdraw until that period is over, your money is in fixed deposit. Yes, means you can get your money only after a stipulated stipulated time. Okay. 
nectar the south african bullion coins of 28 gram each are called krugerrands or biscuits it is biscuits uh, sorry it is krugerrands okay k r u g g e r r a n d s krugerrands okay next when an account is shared by two or more people it is called joint account j o i n t joint account now the abbreviation atm stands for all time money or automated teller machine yes it is automated teller machine now the abbreviation of ca stands for central account or current account it is current account b part okay next is potpourri you have to choose the correct answer by check okay the first animal to travel space was a dog okay next the national fruit of india is banana apple or mango so it is mango next the fox lives in a den shed or sty it is den okay now the playing area of boxing is called ring field mat it is ring fine now the cranium protects the lungs kidney or heart it is heart okay now you have to match the following games with the related term first one is carrom so it is c men then hockey it is e it is played with stick then billiards it is b it is there is a q okay then polo a it is you have to match with a that is mallet okay and then tennis d is played with racket okay next is branches of terminology okay this is the last page of your final term of gk course okay so branches of terminology you have to do match the terminology to the correct definition you have to take the help from the help book the scientific study of fruits and seeds are called carpology c a r p o l o g y next is the scientific study of poisons it is toxicology t o x i c o l o g y okay next is the branch of science dealing with skin diseases it is dermatology d e r m a t o l o g y okay next one the branch of zoology dealing with the study of insect it is entomology e n t o entomology m o l o g y next one is the study of the shape and size of human skull skull it is craniology c r a n i o and l o g y okay next one is the scientific study of bird it is called ornithology o r n i ornithology t h o l o g y fine next is the study of mountain it is orology o r o l o g y next the scientific study of religion it is theology t h e o l o g y next is the study of trees dendrology it is d e n d r o l o g y next is the study of fingerprint it is dactylology that is d e a c t y l o l o g y okay next is the scientific study of measurement it is metrology m e t r o metrology l o l o g y metrology okay next is the scientific study of coins banknotes and medals it is numismatic n u m i s m a t i c s okay so this completes your final term okay so all of you go through each and every exercises study hard learn each and every term very carefully okay various types of studies what are they called you can see metrology spelling is m e t r o 
L O G Y metrology okay then we have ornithology then orology theology dendrology numismatic entomology carpology okay then dermatology toxicology then craniology and dactylology okay these are the terms which have already been matched and written in front of their respective studies okay so these are here so go learn them very carefully children okay children take care thank you